Hi, this is Vivian Vandeveld. Welcome from my home to yours. I am going to be reading you a short story that I wrote a long time ago that got published in Kid City Magazine in June 1989, so before a lot of you were born. And it is called At the First Sign of Trouble. The sign said, last exit before troll, but Duncan's parents said it didn't. Toll, his father corrected, it must have said last exit before toll. They were due at Aunt Pat's house at noon. Here it was one o'clock and they were lost on a road that wasn't on a map. Suddenly, a sign changed the speed limit to 10. The road narrowed to a single lane. It curved and headed under a bridge. Bridge, Duncan thought. Trolls lived under bridges. The road under the bridge was covered with nails and broken glass. Duncan saw someone in a hard hat and an orange vest. The person was pushing a large broom, moving the mess in front of the car. There was a loud crunching sound, then the hiss of air leaking out of a tire. Mom stopped the car. She and Dad both leaned back in exasperation. The construction worker was approaching. The first thing Duncan noticed were the arms, long enough to scrape the ground and very hairy. It was a troll. Duncan rolled up his window and locked the door. The troll leaned against the car. Bit of a spill here, it said. Yeah, Duncan wanted to say, and I saw you spill it. Mom and Dad hadn't noticed much about the troll. Dad undid his seatbelt. Duncan grabbed his arm. He wiggled his eyebrows and whispered, Troll! Dad put his hand on Duncan's forehead. Are you okay? Dad got out of the car. He kicked the right front tire. It's flat, he said. Mom got out of the car. Duncan sighed. His parents didn't realize they were dealing with a troll. He unlocked his door and went out to help. The troll had crouched down next to the ruined tire. Duncan joined his father, who was looking for the tire-changing tools in the trunk. Isn't there something strange about that guy, he asked. Yeah, Dad said. Kind of hot for a fur sweater, I'd say. Sweater, Duncan squeaked. Mom sat down on the curb and pulled a book from her purse. She called over. Do you two want any help? No, Dad grumbled. Mom shrugged and began to read. Dad dropped the tools and a rubber hammer bounced off his toe. Duncan handed Dad the wrench. As each lug nut dropped to the ground, the troll kicked it under the car. Dad seemed to think they just rolled there. He muttered and complained. Mom read. Duncan thought about how hot he was. The troll looked pleased with itself. Suddenly it said, time to eat. It got a lunch pail out from under the bridge. Greasy dishwater, it offered as Dad pulled the heavy tire off. Pencil shavings? No thanks, Dad didn't look up. The troll pouted. Dad kicked the hubcap out of his way, and that made the troll cheerier. Duncan thought back to how pleased it looked when his parents were upset. That was it. It liked to see people miserable. What was the opposite of being miserable? Duncan considered. He pulled his kazoo out of his pocket and hummed a few notes of Yankee Doodle. His dad started humming along. The troll was sulking again. Mom smiled and said, how about some ice cold lemonade? The troll scowled even more while dad said, sounds great. Mom rested her hand on dad's shoulder and smiled. The troll beat his fists on the ground. Mom and dad didn't seem to notice. While dad got the hubcap back on, mom poured lemonade and put out sandwiches. Dad, wiping his hands clean, asked, where's that nice construction worker? Duncan had seen it stomp off. The only thing that bothered Duncan was that his parents still didn't understand it had been a troll. They didn't believe him about the next sign they passed either. They were back on the road again. Mom driving asked, Do you mean the one that said radar watch? Duncan sank down in his seat and moaned. The sign had said radar witch. Okay, so that was a story that as I say, I wrote it a long time ago when uh, our daughter was just beginning to learn how to read and we were driving on the expressway and we passed by a sign that said uh, last exit before toll 
and uh, we reacted the same way that Duncan's parents did. We assumed that uh, she had misread, but you can never be sure because a lot of times you're passing by a construction site and there are three lanes of traffic that are forced to narrow down to one and when you pass by the construction workers sometimes they're not working and they're just watching how slowly all that traffic is going and I think those must be trolls. So I've written a couple of stories about trolls. I've written this one and I also wrote Troll Teacher. Um, as a writing idea you might think about what job do you think that would be fun to do to, I'm sorry, that would be fun to write about if a troll was the one who was doing that job. I want to wish you be safe and be kind.